God is in the details. There are no accidents. Ruth followed her mother-in-law to a land in which she did not know, this land of Bethlehem. And of all the fields that she could have gleaned from, she chose to glean from this man's field. And this man happened to be this kinsman redeemer. And this man accepted the role of kinsman redeemer. So this book is so important because it ties Bethlehem not only to David, but it will tie Bethlehem to the place of birth for Jesus Christ. In fact, we're going to go into Luke chapter 2, verse 8. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring to you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And I'll go ahead and read it again. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. In fact, some scholars believe that those fields nearby where Jesus was born, those fields were the fields of Boaz, where Ruth gleaned from. And then we go on to read that today in the town of David, the town of David, of course, is Bethlehem. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. He is the Redeemer. So that is the importance of this book of Ruth, is not only tying the town of Bethlehem to David, but tying it to the ultimate story, the ultimate Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Today, in the town of Bethlehem, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. We just...